Hi Taurus and welcome to my channel Waking with Nancy. This is going to be your mid-March 2020 love reading. This is going to be a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everybody. If it doesn't feel like your story, you may want to check out videos for your moon, rising, and Venus signs. I typically channel these messages for those of you who are in some sort of deep soul connection. It could be somebody that you're separated from right now, or maybe you've met somebody you feel very deeply connected to them and you don't really understand why, okay? What else was I gonna say? If you wanna book a private reading with me, I will pin a comment down below. You can simply click on the link and be directed to my website, Awaken with Nancy. I am having another raffle in case you missed the last one, and this will be the April raffle. It does require a $10 donation to my channel. The winner will receive a one hour reading with me, one hour reading of your choice. And the deadline is April 15th at midnight. I will get in touch with the winner on the 16th. Um, I do like to try and get in touch with everybody just to let them know that they didn't win. But if you don't hear from me on the 16th, just assume that you unfortunately were not the winner, okay? If you do wanna participate when making the donation, please indicate that it is for the raffle and make sure I have your email address. Um, you can find the link to my PayPal in the description box below. There's also an icon in the banner of my channel. All right, let's get going. So I pulled some overall energy and we got confidence is the key to your success. Beautiful. We also got let go and trust. And what this is saying to me is just put your trust in the universe, put your trust that everything is coming together the way that it should, and just release any expectations for an outcome. The universe knows what's right for you and will bring that in when the time is right. We do have storm warning. So, you know, to me, it's like, there's a lot of chaos going on right now. There's a lot of upheaval. People are freaking out about the coronavirus. They're worried about their jobs. They're worried about not making ends meet. Um, this could really interfere with your love life right now because it, you know, it could really shift your energy. So just know that everything is happening, unfolding the way it should. And, you know, again, just trust and, and remain positive. There could also be something happening between you and your person that is quite upsetting. Again, just know that everybody is going through such a challenging time right now. And appreciation. Just appreciate where you're at right now. Have patience that everything is going to unfold as it should. And then we've got the magician and the mirror. And this is about you having control, having the ability to create, to manifest, to magically transform anything that needs transforming in your love life. All right, beautiful messages. I wanna just jump in and see where your energy is at, Taurus. What do we need to know about Taurus for mid-March? How are you guys feeling about love? Two of Cups. Beautiful. Love is on your mind. Partnership is on your mind. This is something you're wanting. We've got Six of Cups. Two of Cups and the Six of Cups is definitely about some sort of deep soul connection. This is somebody that you're wanting reunion with. This is somebody that you do consider a soulmate. So this is what's on your mind doesn't surprise me with the other cards that are coming through. 
And then we've got the Knight of Pentacles. This is about something that's coming in for you, something that you're wanting to come in for you, but it's been a long time coming. And that is why the Patience card is here, you guys. It seems like this is never gonna come in, this offer, this love, this soulmate, but it is on its way. You've got to just trust in the process, okay? Believe, let go of expectations and just have confidence. That's what's, what is meant for you is going to come in for you. And we've got justice. This is about balance. This is about a karmic cycle ending. This is justice that is coming in for you. So I'm seeing two signs. I'm seeing an earth sign potentially um, and then Libra. Um, we've got the nine of swords as well and that's about having anxiety. Anxiety about love, anxiety about life, um, wanting justice to come in, wanting an easier, easier time to come in. It's it's you really not believing that um, that this beautiful partnership is going to come in. This is losing sleep over it. This is about wanting, you know, wanting this partnership, wanting this person. Let's see what else. It's also about self sabotage. So with emotions running so high right now, you guys just be mindful of your words, okay? We've got the Muse card. This is a very inspirational card and this is really just believing. Um, <clears throat> believing that you do have the ability to transform things. We've also got contemplation and I'm seeing, you know, Contemplation is usually, you know, an energy of the hermit, something like that, something about going within. Um, I'm feeling that you're wanting to re-spark something with someone and you are going within about it. You're looking for some sort of inspiration in this situation, but it's leading to a lot of anxiety for you. Now, let's see what's coming in. I just saw the Wheel of Fortune, but it did not come out just yet. We've got the King of Wands. This could be a fire sign, so Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Um, you know, this is somebody who's very warm, very exciting, adventurous, passionate, really, really passionate. It could be a man or a woman for you, but it's somebody who's very well respected, somebody who has a vision for their life. Um, this person is a leader. They know what they want and it's a king. So whether you're a man or a woman, this person who's coming in for you is very clear about where they're going in love, what they want in love. And we've got the page of swords. What I'm getting from that is somebody wants to communicate with you, Taurus. They're thinking about you. They're observing the situation and they're wanting, they're wanting to speak with you. They're wanting to communicate. What else is coming in for Taurus? Six of Pentacles, beautiful. I see this as um, you know, a very successful relationship. This is balance. Um, this is, you know, giving to each other. Wow, we've got the fool. Beautiful. That is taking a risk. Somebody wants to take a risk with you, have a new beginning, start an adventure with you. And we've got the Ace of Swords. This is a breakthrough. This is clarity. Um, so there, I feel that for some of you, there is going to be a breakthrough in this connection. And we've also got the seven of wands and I am just feeling that your person is very determined to make this work. That seven of wands has been coming through for a lot of the signs recently. And that is, you know, it can be a defensive energy, but it can also be an energy of just, you know, very determined, like nobody's gonna stop me from getting what I want. Okay, repeating message already. We've got the observer, that's the page of swords. So your person is really thinking about you.
we've got the winter card. That could be that things are frozen in time. Yep, things are frozen in time. There's a separation between the two of you. And they are really thinking about this. They're wanting to come back in. Not sure how how they're going to make that happen, but they're determined. That's what I'm getting. Um, what is going to challenge you? What are the challenges coming through? The Knight of Wands. This is moving forward passionately. And the Page of Wands. So we've got the Page and the Knight. Um, the Page of Wands is like a new chapter. It comes right after the Ten of Wands. Um, so this new chapter What's challenging you is starting a new chapter and moving forward passionately, possibly expressing yourself. Let's see. Understanding that your person wants this and they want to move forward. And then we've got Twin Flame. You guys, this card has come up, I swear, for every single sign. So you, for some of you, you may be dealing with a twin flame that you're wanting reunion with. When I see the two, the six of two and six of cups with the twin flame card come out, yeah, definitely, some of you could be dealing with a twin flame. Um, let's see what your person's intentions are toward you. And a lot of the twin flames are coming in to union right now. Okay. All right, their intentions toward you. <clears throat> We've got the tower, and this is about a sudden realization. And what's coming in after it is a seven of cups. This is about confusion, fantasy, illusion um having different choices when these two cards come up together what i'm feeling is that your person is having a sudden realization that yeah you are their twin flame or um you're a very they have a very very deep connection with you that perhaps they didn't understand before but now they're realizing it this is coming to the surface and it's like, I don't know, it's like all, it's like their belief system is, is crashing down around them and they're going to choose you. We've got the King of Pentacles, so another earth sign, okay? So I see this as a progression. It's like we've got the Knight of Pentacles in your energy and now their intention is the King of Pentacles. We've seen the King of Wands, so they want to be a king to you. Um, they want to be, they want to offer you something really stable, something very, very committed. Um, and with the three of wands, they're thinking about the possibilities of this connection. Okay. Beautiful. recognition yeah they recognize you as somebody very very special to them there may have been a third party situation you guys they may have had to make a choice between you and another person or you needed to make a choice between them and another person or it doesn't have to be a person, it could be, but it's some interference, okay? And what I'm feeling is that they are recognizing you as someone special with the answer is yes, and that whatever this third party, this interference in the connection, it's like that, you know, that is what was leading to the confusion, okay? That's why this tower moment, this tower moment had to come in. And it's like, this third party is going to be going bye-bye and they're going to choose you. All right. Let's see what an outcome is in the future. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. We have got the six of wands and we have got the ace of cups. So this is what's coming in for you. Um, yeah, this person's coming back around. 
They want something very successful with you. They want you to accept their cup of love that they're offering to you. Um, you guys, I'm gonna. This is short and sweet today. I'm just gonna leave it right there. Beautiful. All right, Taurus. I hope that this resonated with you. If it did, please like, share, subscribe, and I'd love to hear your comments. I am sending you guys so much love. Bye bye.